there are certain qualities which we have lost. One of them is the quality of honesty. One of them is the quality of mercy for one another, compassion, empathy. We've lost these qualities that, that make a person have that beautiful, beautiful manners that the Prophet ﷺ said, Innama I have been sent to bring about, to perfect good manners. But we've lost these qualities and as a result, we've become diseased as an ummah. What is the cure? We have to go back to unconditional honesty. If you're talking to your children, be honest. Don't think because they're children, it's okay to lie to them. If you're talking to anyone, be honest. Be in the habit of being honest. Because until we go back to these beautiful manners, we will not fix our condition. See, we complain a lot about the type of leadership that we have, don't we? Leadership in our masajid, we say, oh, it's, not, it's corrupt. Leadership in our countries, it's corrupt. Do you know why we have corrupt leadership? Because our leadership is a reflection of us. It's a reflection of what we are inside. If we want the leaders to be better, we have to become better. We have to become honest if we want our leaders to be honest because they are a reflection of who we are inside. Changing ourselves. Indeed Allah will not, does not change the condition of a people until they change what's inside themselves. If you want just leaders, be just in your own families. Be just in your organizations, at your schools, in your masajid. We can't even have a proper board in the masjid. And we're going to talk about justice at the, at the state level. We have to start to change ourselves. Going back to that beautiful character. To stop being harsh. To stop having a hard heart. You know, one of the problems we have is we think that when you become religious, it means you have to be really mean, right? You have to be harsh. Sometimes people, as they become more and more religious, they become more and more harsh with their families. All of a sudden, everything is haram. And, and now they just, they, they've actually become more hardened. That's not what it means to be religious. The Prophet ﷺ was the softest of people. He had the softest of hearts. And he said, khayrukum, khayrukum li ahle. The best of you are the best to their families. It's not that the best of you are the best to those in the masjid or the most polite to the people at the cash register. But the best to your families. That's actually the litmus test of your righteousness. How do you treat your family when you get home? That is the litmus test put down by the Prophet ﷺ. We have to go back to good character. I have been sent to beautify, to perfect beautiful manners and character. We have to go back to mercy between one another. Compassion, empathy. That none of you truly believe until they love for others what they love for themselves. We have to be a people who care about one another. We cannot have this nefsi nefsi attitude. And if we do, it's a sign that there's a disease internally. Finally, one of the diseases that is plaguing us as a community, both individually as well as collectively, is the disease of despair. I believe that we have fallen into despair. Many of us feel as those who came before us felt. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually asks us rather, Am hasiptum and tadhulul jannata, walamma yaatikum methulul ladina khalo min kablikum. Do you believe, do you think that you will enter paradise without going through that which those who came before you went through? Do 
those people who came before us, they were tested, they were given adversity, they were tried, they were so shaken that even the messengers and those with the messengers asked, Mata Nasrullah, when will the help of Allah come? I think that we feel like that right now. And many of us have fallen into despair. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want us to fall into despair. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us at the end of this ayah, Ala inna nasrullahi qareeb. Indeed, the help of Allah is near. Aquli qawli hadha wa astaghfar Allah li wa lakum. Inna wa ghafoonur rahim. Subhanakallah wa bihamdaka shadwan la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruk wa atubu laik.